start the recording. All right, guys, we are recording now. So welcome uh, to the 21 online review. Uh, Century 21 has so many great tools um, to, to, that they provide to us between 21 online and the association. There, we have everything at our fingertips to run our businesses. So uh, let's just get right into it. I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. So let's go into 21 online. So the, all I'm gonna do is sign in here. You all should have your sign in information. So now we're on 21 online. So basically the you know, the first screen is called your dashboard and these are all, all these cards right here are like either tips and tricks um, that 21 Online provides to us based off of the, um, the profile that we answered. If you haven't done that yet, the 21 Online will walk you through it. Um, it has like new agent onboarding, whatever you put in your profile, it'll, it'll tailor what you need for you. Uh, and there's all kinds of stuff that you can, you know, go through and read about. Um, I'm still, you know, learning all this myself, but for, for the purpose of um, the news section down here is usually pretty good too. Uh, what, what we're going to do today for the purpose of this is I'm going to talk about the tools section. Um, but before I do that, I also want to make sure that you guys are all in Workplace. You guys see this icon right here? If you haven't entered Workplace yet, I highly recommend you doing that because when you go to Workplace, there's so much information about real estate. It's not um, all about Century 21, even though a lot of it is because our um, all the CEOs and, and um, corporate and the top agents, all of those people are there helping us. Um, they provide video, they provide resources, they provide content. Century 21 provides um, memes and stuff like that. And I'll show you a little bit. So this, we're in the 21 online, I mean the workplace online um, portal right now. Uh, and you can customize all this just like you would on Facebook. It's pretty much a workplace is a off spin of Facebook for but for business. And, um, and this is also where Joe is going to be doing all of our communications now, which is what was originally set up, but it was kind of difficult to get agents to come here. But by having two different means of um, communication really adds a lot of work to uh, staff at Keystone Realty, as well as, you know, other people who participate. So this is actually designed specifically for Century 21. So our group is called C20, um, C21 Keystone Realty, and you're automatically defaulted in that group. So this is like my home page. No, I'm sorry. This is the Keystone page, the group page that only Keystone Realtors and whoever Joe allows into this group we'll see. And here, you know, so we, we all share stuff. Feel free to share stuff to this page because we're all about helping people. So when you come across something that's really awesome, share it here. Share an article. Share uh, a suggestion for somebody. Um, we can share things from other agents and, and uh, other, other things that we might find important because um, it's like anything else, you, you're, you're not going to be able to see everything. So if something pops out in your head and you think this would be helpful, go ahead and share it to uh, C21 Keystone Realty so everybody else can share, see it. Then we have groups over here. So these are the groups that I um, have joined. Uh, one, of, one of my favorites is the social media ideas. I'm just going to click on this right now. So th again, this is just a group like you would join a group in Facebook. Um, and it gives, it gives uh, different ideas, like so, uh, well, this, this person shared, he's pretty popular on um, Workplace, but this person shared all these different um, memes 
uh, that have to do with real estate and have to do with just general things that are were going on today. I found them very um, helpful. So what I'll do is I'll click into one and I'll and I'll save it to my desktop and then I pop something like this into Canva and then I'll put like my website down here in the same kind of color, whatever, you know, your preference. I'll save it and then I'll use this as advertisement or marketing to um, my personal Facebook page, my business page. So it's just another idea that it's here at our fingertips that we don't have to go searching for content. So it's, it's really good information. Um, so keep that in mind. And, the, and they, you know, they offer all kinds of stuff and you just pick and choose what you like. Then um, you can message people through this also, just like you would on Facebook, where you can reach out and private message somebody. Um, what else? There's, there's all different kinds of groups. So just search around, play with it. There's all different kinds of trainings. Um, and just, you know, utilize it to use your business, whatever you need for your business. If you, if you want something specific, you can search for those things and um, use it to your benefit as well. Okay, so back to the dashboard. So we're on our dashboard and I'm gonna click on the, this three little uh, line menu bar over here and we're gonna scroll down to Productivity Hub and this is where we're gonna sit for a little while today. Productivity Hub is where you're gonna, there are the tools to take your business to the next level. Um, in your spare time, late at night, whenever you do your reading or what have you, you can, if you're a goal setter um, and like to challenge yourself, I, I advise you to read about the awards rankings um, because Century 21 does like to recognize us for, you know, our production and, you know, what we've done within our business. So it's kind of nice because as, um, single agents, you know, you know, we are our own business and we don't have anybody sitting over our shoulders, encouraging us and supporting us and um, motivating us and most of all, recognizing us. Some people like to be recognized. Um, and if you achieve certain goals, Century 21 will recognize you for that. And it's kind of cool if that's you. So, you know, go ahead and take the time and read this um, when you have the opportunity. And we are going to move to Brand Studios. Brand Studios is pretty awesome. It's the place where you can go and find your logos. We're gonna pop in here. Um, find your templates to where you can customize for yourself um, and, and your business. So over here is, if you come right here, this is where you're gonna find your Century 21 online or your Century 21 logos. So I just clicked into this and here you can see are a lot of our logos, okay? And this is specifically branded to Keystone Realty. And you can choose by the different color, you can choose by um, the brand type, whether you're working residential, commercial, fine homes and real estates or farms and ranches. They have specific um, brands, logos for each one of those. So um, uh, I, I navigate it to tools. Uh, just so you guys know, there's a chat um, that you all can access on Zoom and that's what I'm reading right now. Uh, you navigate it to tools. Hmm, Danielle's asking me. No, I, I did, I went to productivity hub and then I just went to brand studios and I went to logo. So if I go back, I think that's your question. If I go back, I'm going to brand studio. And it, when it, when I get there, I'm going to select this right here. Okay, good. Uh, so we're on my logo. So if, if you happen to specialize in fine homes and estates, then you would just select that and there, of course, it comes up with no results. Um, let's go back. This, this is all residential. 
it was here, I promise, where I was able to um, select, you know, which, which, uh, let's try commercial. Nope. All right, guys. I Apparently, this is all residential. Um, I know that there are specific uh, logos for those other categories. So maybe they're just having a glitch, glitch right now. But as you can see, like this is a center. It'll say residential center gray. Um, the EPS means that it is, um, it, you can use it as pictures. A PDF is something you would put on to a, um, a, a document, like a, something that you would print. Um, so play around with this and, util, and use this. I, I save it. I, you know, I pick the ones that I like if I want it to the left, you know, or if I want it centered something like that. I save the ones that I like, the colors that I like, because you do it, I, I try to match my stuff a little bit as best I can. Um, and I just grab it from my, my desktop or my pictures uh, album. That's, that's what works best for me. Um, also in Brand Studios, you can create your flyers that are, you know, all those pretty flyers that people have. Um, there's general templates that you can pick from uh, when people are doing our, our uh, just listed or um, just sold. This is where you're going to find those templates is in this part of Brand Studios. Okay, now we're going to, I'm going to skip over branded email. If you, um, if you are the type of person that likes to use branding, you can get your personal email with at century21.com. Um, that's completely up to you whether or not you want to market yourself that way. Um, but this is a way that you can get that is by going through this um, card and you know getting, uh, let's say, Stacy Fiore at century21.com email um, if that's how you want to market your business. So that's your preference. It's not mandatory. This is where you would do that. Over here is Business Builder. Business Builder is um, a great, it's, it's also coupled as a CRM. It's, it's a great tool to um, keep in contact with your clients in a way that you can also send them emails, uh, brand it to you. I don't, I don't really use it very much. Um, so, but I'm gonna show you um, what I do use it for when I do use it. See, there's a there's con you can keep your contacts in here and and like I said you can definitely use this as a CRM but I like to go to the marketing part of it and go to market center and here is where I can find um, I can create monthly newsletters that are branded to me I can put my clients on campaigns I can edit my designs um, there's all different kinds of things in the in this section right here um, I can create flyers for buyers. Um, I like, oh, where did it? You can send automatic birthday greetings. So if you just want to pop in your clients in here, uh, you and if you have their emails, and you can set it up to where it automatically go to them, and you don't have to think about who's going to receive an email because as long as you, um, a birthday card, because as long as you put in their birth date and it's set up the birthday greeting will automatically go out to them. The, the monthly newsletters will automatically go out to them. Um, so, so basically, uh, you can edit these as well. It gives you the opportunity to edit it. Well, let's see. So we're on April, May. So see where it says personalize? So I can click for May. I can, it's scheduled to go out on May 13th. I can click personalize and it'll take me into the back office. And here is where I can update, I can change, um, I can change a picture, I could take out, you know, the article. But I mean, I'm a big proponent of if it isn't broke, don't fix it. You know, I might edit some things or add something in that meets, you know, my personality or the way I may speak. But really, guys, most. The, these articles are pretty well written. Um, 
So it's, it's something I don't have to think about. I don't have to sit there and do that research for. Uh, and it links all back to you. It's personalized to you. So if you have your uh, sphere set up on this, then every month it'll go to your, um, your clients, your past clients, whoever you want, uh, and you don't have to think about. And again, you can personalize it. So, and you can actually go ahead of the game most of the time. Um, and then make sure you always save and continue. So that's a really, really cool tool I like. Um, what else? Marketing Center, uh, My Designs. You just have to come in here and play with it. So you can choose for, these are the things that I have chose, like the different newsletter formats, the birthdays. Um, these are things that, you know, I've already saved in my, um, in my program. Let me see if I can get a little bit more specific for you. And here we go, loading. Don't you love when this happens? It's going to be loading forever and it's going to drive me crazy. Okay, we're back in marketing, marketing center. Okay, um, here you can do print marketing. You have all these designs in here to choose from. If you're like, well, gosh, I'm not a marketer. I don't know what to do, but you, there's all different kinds of things that you can choose from that really makes it easy for you to uh, Danelle is asking is if this is where you would go to to set up your website as well. Uh, there is a place on here to um, create a website. I think this is something, an additional website over and above what Zap offers. So no. Um, if I don't remember, remind me that when I get to Zap, which I know we still have to talk about um, with you, um, remind me to show you that and I will do that um, when we get to zap. Okay. Um, so again, there, here's all kinds of um, tools here for you to choose from. Um, so you don't have to think. So it's all right here, guys, just listed, sold in your area. You can print these. Um, sometimes I will, um, I will like snipping tool. If you don't, if you have a a PC snipping tool is my favorite friend because I may not print something like this because one, it may not be in my budget or two, what am I going to do after I print it? You know, am I going to mail it out? You know, and you can, but sometimes I don't want to do that. Sometimes I just want it for social media or marketing. So snipping tool is an amazing tool where I can crop the photo, save it, turn it into a JPEG, and boom, I have something that I can market to um, social media. So there's all different kinds of stuff in um, Business Builder. Get in there and, and utilize it and play with it and make your mistakes and um, have fun with it. All right, Business Cards Express Stock. Um, this is another online tool that uh, Century 21 provides to us that we can I don't know what this means, but um, let me just go back out. Um, it is a place where we can also have create other branded um, tools like stationery and marketing material. What's really cool about Express Docs, even though it doesn't seem to be working right now, or maybe I just need to log in, but I'm not going to do that for today. But what I have used Express Docs for is if I have a, um, a listing that I just sold in a, in a particular area and I really want to hit that area hard. So I can go into business cards and express stocks and create the, the flyer just sold under contract, whatever, just list it and put in a zip code and it'll automatically send my marketing tools, of course, for a price, you do have to pay for that. Um, to the, that particular area 
um, that I'm interested in marketing. They are, it's kind of like uh, the post office thing. Um, it's, the name is slipping my mind right now where you want to, you know, farm to that, but they all do the homework for you. You don't have to do the search of the, the market. Um, they'll do that and they'll send it out. Yes. Um, everyday direct mail or something like that. EDDM. Thank you, Danelle. Um, so this is a helpful tool for that and it's quick, it's easy, and it's specifically branded for Century 21 um, agents. The global referral, I don't, I don't use this part yet, but I, I'm only imagining that this is if you um, love to do international real estate or, and have uh, resources internationally, this is a referral network for you to communicate with your international agent. C21 promotional shop in this section here, you can absolutely go in there and find items that are branded like t-shirts and backpacks and hats because we are our own walking billboard. I have my Century 21 Stone Realty shirt on today. And even though I probably won't leave the house and this is just specific for me and my dog, my office assistant sitting back there, um, but you never know, I might hop on a video. <laughs> Uh, I might do a chat with somebody, and if I do that, then, um, you know, at least I'm branded to myself, <laughs> um, but most of the time, guys, in all, in all seriousness, you know, when I'm, when I leave the home, uh, I try to always have something Century 21 online on, even if I throw on a pair of jeans and a, and a pair of flip-flops, if I have my Century 21 shirt on, or I'll have a cap on. Um, it, it, we're, we're walking billboards, and whether people address us or not, it's still, you still want to get that brand out there. You want people to see you, um, you know, and who you are, and they'll remember this. Like, it, they'll see that I wear my shirt all the time when I go to public. So they're like, oh, there's that, there's that realtor, or you know, if I have my hat on at the gym or I wear hats all the time. So, um, you know, they'll, they'll recognize it. It's, it's just another form of branding. So that's where you can get a lot of this stuff here. Plus, um, Keystone Realty has some contacts, great contacts to be able to get um, different types of shirts with our logos already um, preset on them. So you don't have to pay for that extra setup fee. Uh, Joe has some of that stuff, you know, in place for us at the office. You can, um, I think there's a document that they provide to us called Agent Support Resources. And at the bottom, it has uh, helpful resources where you can get business cards and, um, you know, our apparel and stuff like that uh, through, through those people at really great prices. But this is another opportunity. Um, C21 University. Guys, if you're not utilizing this right now during this COVID uh, situation, then I don't know what to say. Uh, I, I have been more busy now in the last three months than I have been in probably the last six months. Because, I mean, and not necessarily with money-making activities. Is that bad? Mm, maybe. But it, by going through C21 University, this provides you with all of the learning tools. They have everything from um, live learning courses to virtual learning courses to um, self-paced self, um, learning courses. All you have to do is get in here. They have pre-made videos. All you have to do is get in here and utilize it. Here is where you're going to find the scripts. If you're a newer agent or if you're an agent that wants something um, a little bit different or add a little bit different, maybe something isn't working because we all have to tweak our businesses every now and then. Um, and getting in here and learning something new or adding something or maybe you're building a team and you need uh, direction for a newer agent. This is where you can point them. Uh, where everything is at their fingertips to learn about the business. Um, I'm all about basics, guys. 
I, I love basics in most areas of my life, but if we don't transcend and evolve, then sometimes we get stuck. And, and just to figure out new ways and new ideas to run our business, this is the place to go. Um, one of the things I want to point out is called Accelerate. Accelerate is in here somewhere. It's called Accelerate. Here it is. So Accelerate is a, um, I think it's a three or four week program that you can take through 21 online. And it, yeah, it's four weeks. It definitely is um, something that helps you jumpstart your business. Uh, I personally recommend doing something like this like two times a year because not every month um, in, in a year are you going to be moving and grooving. Even the top agents have a little downtime, you know, during this, during certain seasons. So by taking a, a program like this, a class like this, sometimes it helps jumpstart. It either motivates you, it gives you an accountability um, to, to do things that you may normally not do in your business, making those certain phone calls, um, however, you know, those 10 phone calls a day or whatever. And if you're a seasoned agent and you really don't need something like this, guess what, guys? You are the shining stars of the industry and you can come alongside and help somebody else um you know motivate them or share your experience and you know i understand not everybody is into something like that but i mean just think if we didn't have the seasoned vets to help us you know it would be much harder to move along in our business so definitely look into this accelerate you can do it um in different formats, just find which format works best for you and and run with it. Uh, and you know, I'd always I love to hear other people's opinions and experiences and accomplishments when they do these sort of things. So when you're taking it, be sure to share that on the the workplace. So you know we see what you're doing, not that we see not that we can see what you're doing, but sharing your ideas and your experiences and your ahas, and your um, your hoorays, you know, I, I like to hear when people succeed and do stuff like, you know, do good things. So keep that in mind and don't forget, this is where we can go for scripts. I'm not a big script person. I, you know, I wasn't brought up or taught that way. And um, I wish I had, um, th are any of you, do any of you rely on scripts? Danielle, do you rely on scripts at all or, or John? I, I, I actually, I do, um, but I take the, like the basic points from the script and I just, I like it more natural. I, I find that I'm more robotic when I'm doing it or trying to do it verbatim, which um, I learned or, or was, was told that really that's not what the script is for. You're supposed to actually just extract like the major points and then try to apply it how you would naturally communicate. Mm -hmm. So that's how I try to do it. But I'm more uh, like you. I kind of, I just kind of go with it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I do too. But, you know, I do find myself reading them every now and then because it does kind of help me put something into perspective. Yes, it does. It's, yeah. To me, especially when I'm dealing with objections, yeah. it gives me another perspective that instead of, you know, for me, when I'm dealing with objections, I'm coming at it from a negative point. Like, oh my God, they don't want to do business with me. But yeah. when I read like scripts on how to handle objections, it gives you a different perspective so that you're not so, uh, it doesn't make me so nervous in yeah. trying to address it. I agree with you on, on both points um, also because, you know, I, I like to be natural. I like to shoot from my hip. Yeah, I, I don't mind bullet points and stuff like that. And eventually it's ingrained. So you find yourself, you know, repeating or regurgitating some of the stuff that you read. So it, it becomes natural when you go to speak it. 
you know, there's nothing worse for me personally is, is hearing somebody speak and they're, and you know, they're reading something. Now, is there a time and place for that? Yes. But we're supposed to be professionals of the industry. You know, we're supposed to know this stuff. And, and yeah, we all have to begin somewhere. And that's why, um, you know, they encourage us to read the script and make it your own, you know, because we all have different personalities. Thank you for sharing that, Danielle. Okay. So where are we here? We're in C21 University. So get in here, find something that you want to specialize in, whether it's listings, if you want to up your listings, find um, classes that help you do that. If it's um, uh, FISBOs, find a class that helps you work with FISBOs, expires. They have everything in here that you um, may need. Moving right along. Um, I don't know what dash listing is, so I'm gonna skip that. Over here in discount and perks, but I encourage you to go in and, and, um, and, and read it. So in discounts and perks, uh, Century 21 does give you um, discounts on, on various different things. Um, I'm really bad about seeking this kind of stuff, but there are business benefits to uh, being a Century 21 agent. Um, it'll, it gives you information on your office, uh, special perks to your clients, your listings. So go ahead. Let me see what this says right here. Discounts and perks. Nope. All right. Go ahead and go in here and and um, and find out how you can maybe save money in different things. I know some companies give you uh, discounts off of or your cell phone and various stuff like that. And you know, and and they do have like national vendors in here. You just have to search for it. Um, we're going to come down to preferred client club. I love, love, love preferred client club. Now, once you're done with your transaction, and, and this doesn't always have to be um, transactional. Excuse me one second, I'm hot. Okay, sitting at, staying at home, you know, you have to run your, your air condition, um, which normally I wouldn't be running because I would be out. Uh, so I try not to turn it on even though I'm sitting in here, so it's a little warm. So um, Preferred Client Club isn't necessarily for your closed deals, uh, although that's what I use it for. You, if you have a prospect that is sitting on the fence and, and you know that they're going to be working with you, and, um, but they're not, they really don't want to uh, buy for another year, you can also enroll them in the preferred client club. Um, if you have a buyer or a seller that you just wrapped up with and you want to follow up with them because the key is in the follow up. And, and I actually utilize this tool is when, um, if I have the listing and I close the transaction, I'm going to um, enroll my seller into the preferred client club. And a lot of times, depending on um, my communications with the buyer, even though they're not my client, I'll also send to them because um, a lot of, most of the time, unfortunately, realtors don't follow up with their, with their, um, with their clients. So again, it's a personal preference. And if I feel like I've had a great relationship with that, with the other party, uh, and I did a lot of the communication with them, I'll absolutely enroll them in hopes and, and, and build a relationship with them. So what this is, is you basically have an enrollment plan and you can choose whether they're a buyer or a seller or even a prospect. They have the, the option to um, put in a prospect here and you choose what package works best for you. I mean, for as little as $25, guys, is you're gonna, they're gonna get multiple touches throughout the year. You don't have to come up with the information. You don't have to come up with the marketing or, or anything like that. 
So for as little as two years, $25, you can choose the five-year plan. Maybe you close on, you know, with a buyer or a seller and you want to stay in communication with them um, for five years or seven years. All these are amazing prices when you when you sit down and do the math. So what do they get? Let me see if I can find this at my fingertips. Here we go. So when you enroll somebody into this and you choose the two, five, or seven year plan, they're going to receive three issues of at home with Century 21 magazine every single year. It'll be personalized with a friendly message from you um, and it has all different kinds of great content inside regarding home ownership. They're also going to receive two seasonal greetings during the spring and fall every year from you. It gets mailed directly to their house and they'll receive an annual wall calendar, a full-size wall calendar at the end of the year for every year that you enroll them with. This is awesome, guys. I think this is definitely a great tool. It's branded to you at Century 21. It has your picture on it, your telephone number on it, um, and it's great quality. I set my stuff up on it just so I can kind of see, um, you know, what what is, um, being sent and I absolutely loved it. Uh, and also, um, let me see, I have a question coming in. A fee covers a certain number of clients or is it per client you sign up? It's per client you sign up. So uh, typically if you um, close a transaction and you want to follow up, you're going to spend whichever plan you choose, let's say it's the two-year plan, $25. So $25 covers you for two years and they'll receive all this in the, ne in the next two years. So they'll actually be receiving a total of six magazines, four greeting cards, and two wall calendars, all for $25. I don't know where you would go to spend that, you know, and they're going to pay for postage for all of these items. So that in itself probably equals $25, you know, today with 50, 55 cents a stamp or something like that. And let me tell you, I was sitting at my dad's house in Sebastian, Florida a couple months ago, and I'm at his desk, and his desk is all kinds of my dad organization. And I look over and I see my picture sitting on his desk, and I'm like, why, why, what is that? I, did, I didn't recognize it. And I picked it up and it was actually the magazine. And I was like, what is this? And it was really nice, guys. I was so impressed. And I started looking through it and it had all different kinds of great um, um, home curbside appealing, appealing tools and articles and really great recipes. I love to cook, guys. So it was really nice. So um, I definitely, definitely recommend this. And, the, and also a great tool with this is that when they send somebody the information, you're also going to get an email. So when they send you the email, guess what you have the opportunity to do? You have the opportunity to pick up the phone and say, hey, Stacy, how you doing? How's the family? How's everything? Blah, 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 blah. Oh, I saw, you know, and by the way, I hope you received my card and, you know, go into the family, the work, how are they doing? How are they feeling? Especially now with COVID. Um, amazing tool. I cannot talk highly about it. You basically just fill out the information um, and there's some, you know, questions here that you can answer. It's pretty self-explanatory. Enroll the member and boom, it's done. And then I can find a list of all my clients uh, and everything. So definitely, definitely utilize that tool, guys. Um, preferred Client Club. PR Studio is also the a marketing management program that you can use with many um, templates uh, to promote yourself uh, as a Century 21 online agent. Um, let's see. You can select different templates uh, for, for what you know you need for, for whatever purpose you're trying to market yourself as. So this is another great tool. Get in here and, and look at various things 
and create what works best for you. Um, you can edit this, like if, if you wanted to, you know, post this or print something like this, you can, there's a place over here where you can fill in to personalize it for your benefit and your needs. Uh, let's see, all that is in the PR studio. Um, real satisfied. I like real satisfied because one of the key things for our business is to what? Ask for referrals and ask for feedback. So here is um, real satisfied is offered to us in different ways. You can get real satisfied through 21 online, through Century 21. You can also get it through the Miami Association of Realtors. I like to use it through 21 online because it's branded specifically for me. Um, you can also use it to syndicate or link to your um, whichever uh, social media platform that you use. Um, you can choose how you receive the notifications. You could choose if it automatically goes there or if you want to review the item and send it out yourself. It's totally up to you. You can choose which kind of um, review you're asking for, uh, and then you can follow up. So apparently, like Billy Epstein has never, I sent it to him, but he never completed the, the, um, the survey that I sent him uh, on, my work, on my performance. Now, I, have, I know that I did get a response back to him, from him in a different format, uh, so I'm not too worried about this. But it's just a way to um, keep track of your testimonies. Um, and they're important to copy and paste into your website. Um, so be sure to explore that tool as well. Uh, sales associate business planning tools. This is a great tool to go in and I think this is going to show like my personal stuff. Um, you could go in here and read the disclaimer and select I accept. It, this is and it's basically saying that this is just a tool to um, to uh, plan your business. So here it'll ask you specific questions on goal setting. You could go ahead and fill out this information and then um, you know go through each each step and really think about you know, how much money you want to make, how many days you're willing to put in. And at the end, it'll calculate your results to be, let me see if I can get to there. I know that I did this a while ago. Um, no, I guess I have to do it again. Mine's printed somewhere. But at the end, it, what, it'll, what it does, it, it tells you how much money you have to make, how many phone calls you have to make, how many touches you have to make in order to make the amount of money that you wish to make in a year. So it kind of gives you a record uh, based off of your average sales income, your commission split, you know, the, your average um, home sale price in your area that you're generally used to closing. Uh, so go ahead and utilize that tool. And when you're done, uh, again, your results come out at the end and then you would just print it and you know keep it wherever it is that you keep your goals. Um, it's a good tool. Golden Ruler. I don't have any listings right now, but Golden Ruler is a great tool to track your uh, what's going on in your listing. And what it does is, you know, once you have a listing, it this tool will automatically track who is viewing your listings, where they're viewing them from, um, and you can share this with your uh, sellers to provide them with what's happening in their, in, with their home. Because when you have a listing, you should be talking to your sellers once a week to let them know you've had this many showings, this many phone calls, you know, obviously your offers. But this tool will allow you, for example, to hone in on, let's say you have a great uh, property here in Cooper City and um, all of us, and 
it's showing you that, I don't know, 20 people in Colorado are looking at this listing. Well, guess what you're going to want to do? You're going to want to perhaps market, maybe do a Facebook um, ad specifically for that area in Colorado because people, maybe they want to get out of the cold. You know, the New York people, a lot of the New York Northerners, Connecticut, New Jersey, Chicago, they all come down here, you know, seasonal, they want to get out. So this allows you to see who's viewing it in what areas so you can potentially market to those people in those areas. And then it also shares, you can share that with your, with your client as well. So that's a great tool. But you have to have a listing in order to utilize uh, the golden ruler. CMA Toolkit. Love, love, love CMA Toolkit. Um, we all do CMAs, right? We all do CMAs. Uh, we all do presentations, maybe, I hope, because it just adds uh, a little bit of professional, a lot of professionalism. When you do a great presentation, sometimes you're competing for that listing or competing to work with that buyer. In CMA Toolkit, it gives you the opportunity to create a beautiful, beautiful um, presentation for you. And it's branded for Century 21 colors and, and, and branding and uh, logos, as well as yourself. And you can edit it uh, with, you can add and subtract whatever pages you want. You do have to spend a little bit of time setting this up because you don't want 14 different pages that talks about why you should use a real estate agent. Although some people might need to slap in the head as to why they need to use a realtor, but you choose which, which one works best for you. Um, the, they give you options. They don't want you to use all 47, um, you know, pages for your, for your uh, presentation. So it, it does allow you to do uh, listing presentations, pre-listing presentations, um, and buyer's presentations. And it allows you to do a CMA by following the, you know, the instructions. It literally, you can literally do CMAs with this tool as well. Um, and it links directly to your MLS that you're associated with. Uh, and it, it's a beautiful, beautiful product. Right. So I don't, I don't know if you guys do pre-listing presentations, but sometimes that's something that can absolutely uh, help you to stand out over and above another agent. Because you all know the difference between like a listing presentation and a pre-listing presentation. No. Okay. So a pre-listing presentation is when you're working on trying to get that lead or that seller to sell their home and and um, they're on the fence and they they want to um, so they they're interviewing other agents maybe so you can come sit down create this uh, list pre-listing presentation as soon as you get off the phone with them it's a short um, maybe you can you can do it as big or, or as small as you want uh, but it's a couple pages that talks about Century 21, what you're going to do for them, um, how you're going to market. It may or may not, I don't always do like a full CMA when I'm doing this. I might do a market CMA of just what's going on in this area. It's very, you know, in this community, it's usually very vague, but they don't necessarily know that. And I print it three or four pages. It looks beautiful. Sometimes I put it in a in a binder where I have the um, the front cover is plastic and it's in the back cover is you know the black um, hard um, binder. At the office they have the tool that you can utilize you know to bind it. I drop it in the mail when when COVID isn't among us. I'll literally drive by their house and like pull up in the driveway. My car is running. I knock on the door. Hey, um, Mrs. Seller, I was just in the neighborhood. I, I'm in a hurry. I just wanted to drop this off to you. I hope you have a great day. It's some information. I'll be in touch. And there you go. And, and it's non-invasive, but it's just a professional look that kind of gives you an added edge to 
hopefully getting that um, that sale. And then it'll give you another opportunity to follow up with them two or three days later. Hi, Mrs. Seller. Just making, you know, just wanted to see if you had an opportunity to sit down and review um, the package I dropped off. And if you have any further questions, I would love to do a full CMA um, on your home. When would you like to do that? It's just an added tool that it makes you look like a shiny star and makes you look like you know what you're talking about um, that you can provide to your to your sellers. Uh, any questions with regard to that? Okay. Uh, you need property sites, Century 21. Um, definitely gives you the opportunity to uh, create like landing pages and um, uh, so you can market to, you, you know, on Facebook and it's a website that they provide for each property. Uh, a lot of other, sometimes people go into different sites to do this. This is a great tool because they provide it for us. So I believe when you have a listing, it'll automatically create um, a unique property site for you that you can share with your um, sellers. You can you can send this link to them in an email and they can forward it to the um, their family and friends and you can do the same. You can share that website with your sphere in an email. Uh, just another way to market that property. It's a great uh, people. It's another tool that you can say to your seller, your property will get a unique website to where we can share with um, everybody around the world. Uh, so Century 21 offers that for us in unique property uh, sites. Let's see, now we are coming to Zap and we are almost done here. Okay, so let's access Zap. Zap is another CRM that um, Century 21 provides to us. Our CRM is probably one of the most important tools that we can utilize um, within our business. It helps us keep organized. It helps us uh, keep organized with our clients, what's going on, a follow up with them. Um, it provides reporting. Uh, it's just CRMs are, are so important guys uh, in our industry. Zap is another one of those tools. I don't utilize that very much. I use a, a different uh, CRM, uh, but I do use it for certain things. I use it for incoming leads um, and, uh, and, and, and certain things like that. I can set my, my clients up on a buyer's campaign with Zap. So if I have a new lead coming in and they're a buyer, like this is a, a task that I um, haven't done yet. It's this is this task is reminding me to um, what's the status of this buyer? Do I want to set them up on a campaign, add them to a newsletter? This is a, a, a task that I created for myself um, to remind myself to, to follow up on this particular person. Um, it does also give a score. So this person, the score will say um, this, that this person is showing activity. So that means I definitely want to go in and you know see what's going on with this person. Uh, because if they're showing activity, if they're looking on my website, if they're looking um, at, if they're viewing properties, obviously this is what I want to hit on. Now this person is showing none. So I need to follow up with him and figure out why he's not looking at the properties or if he is on a property search, um, I need to figure this out. Um, so it's just a great tool to, to utilize and to keep your business um, organized. Now, Danelle, this is where, or you guys, this is where you are also going to edit your Century 21 website. You're going to, by doing that, you're going to come over here. You're going to click open your little, uh, by your profile, click open the little drop box. And here it says my website. Now make sure all your other account settings are set up properly, but you would want to click in to my website. And this is the um, like my website area. And this is the back office to my website. You can view it at any time here. You can copy the URL to share uh, either the, the, 
the full website URL or the mobile URL. Here are all the, the, the tools that you can use to edit your website. So you would just click on this and, and you would type in about me. Um, buying a home. All this is editable, if that's even a word. Editable. Uh, you can customize pages. Um, you can come here and input the areas that you serve. Um, you can add video here. You can do, this is agent insights. So it's just stuff that you could put on your website to show that there's activity going on. If you viewed a particular property, you know, stuff for people to see. I, and you know, when it comes to websites, I do think that you should update them kind of regularly because, you know, the, uh, the algorithm world uh, with Google, they, they realize that and they see that. And you don't want a web website um, where you're going to have your clients go to and, ha and have them see the same thing every single time because what's, why would they go back to a website that shows the same thing every single time? Um, so play around with this. Um, and you can always go view what your website looks like. And if you don't like the way it looks, go take that, that item down. Um, I add videos to my website when I can. This is an older video. I did, I actually did this um, for the purpose um, of playing around. It, it talks about like my intro, who I am and, and you know, to call me kind of thing. Uh, sometimes I put, uh, market stats on my website. If there's an area to put your resources, like these are some of the people that I like to use um, for my business. Uh, you can add your credentials, your experience. You know, people want to know who you are. People like to do people, you know, business with people who they know and like. Add your accomplishments here. I can't begin to tell you how many times that I've I've actually put a buyer in my car, which it used to be more often than not. I don't do it too much anymore, but um, you know, some of the people that I'm comfortable with and you know, they want to drive around with me. Uh, I've actually had these people tell me that they've chosen me because they, they were able to see what my accomplishments are and they were impressed by that. So it does make a difference. Uh, whatever your community involvement is, you know, people want to know who they're working with because People are trusting us to do one of the most important things that they'll do in their life, spending hundreds of thousands of dollars on a property. You can edit it. Um, I, I added that little, uh, this little link here, and here's my market stats, which apparently I need to go update uh, because this is from January and we're already working on, I think, uh, March. No, we're working on February still. I don't think they sent us the email yet for March. But this talks about the Broward stats um, in, in real estate. So again, I encourage you to play with it. Uh, if you have questions, you can definitely call me. Um, I'll be happy to you know, do my best to walk, walk you through it. Uh, but I just play with it, you guys. I mean, I am no professional at, at this stuff by any means. You know, I just kind of see what other agents are doing and I do trial and error. Um, I encourage you to do the same. Custom pages is where I added that Stacy Speaks um, part, uh, but kind of do as I say and not as I do and update it. I'll, I'm gonna definitely make a note to, um, you know, to update this. So again, when somebody goes in, um, they, they don't see the same thing every single time. So that is Zap. And we are at 11.03, so we're just over an hour. Does anybody have any questions? Comments or concerns? Uh, good morning to everyone. Uh, it was kind of late, so sorry about that. Uh, is it's this being recorded by any chance, Stacey? Uh oh. Shoot, did I record this? Uju, you there? Yeah, it says recording. 
<laughs> thank Visual, you. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Great. Right. Uh, right. thank, thank you. You're thank welcome. You. We'll put this on the workplace. So remember to go to to workplace. Um, we're actually. I hope to have that done today. Uh, but Joe and I are working on um, a different format to to house our recordings. But um, hopefully I'll have it on workplace this afternoon, if not by tomorrow. Okay. But yeah, it, it is recording. Okay. Wonderful. Any other right. questions? We're good. Did you guys learn anything? Yep. Thank you. Very informative. Awesome. Awesome. So we're, we are definitely working on the uh, May calendar. So if you want to see any particular trainings in particular, don't hesitate to email Joe or you can always email me, message me, and we'll see about putting them on the calendar or um, if, you know, if I don't know something or obviously, you know, Joe will know. But, um, you know, we'll work on maybe getting a special guest in, you know, something that helps meet your needs because we want to see you guys grow. We want to see you guys learn. We want to see you guys successful. Um, uh, so don't hesitate to ask for, you know, a specific training that's going to help you with your real estate business. Again, I cannot, I cannot stress the, um, the importance of going on workplace. There's so many different things in workplace. Um, they offer all different kinds of Zoom trainings um, from top agents on here, uh, events, just like regular Facebook. And a lot of this is tailored to um, Century 21. So utilize workplace, guys. I recommend getting in there at least once a day. Um, you know, don't, don't let it consume you. You know, after hours when you're sitting on your couch, get in here for a few minutes and 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 um, and utilize what's going on in there and find something that's going to help you meet your needs. The 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 information is endless. So with that, I want to thank you all for joining. And um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. But I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful Tuesday afternoon and the remaining part of your week. You too. Stacy, Stacy, thank you for uh, the information shared. This is another reason why I'm glad I'm back. So awesome. thanks again. Well, we're glad to have you back, John. Thank you all so much. Thank you, Stacy. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Bye. Have a good one. Thank you, Stacy. Everyone stay safe. Yes, you too. Bye-bye. Bye. Stay safe. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.